Now this is our baby of the range really. Um, it's more of a children's bed. Um, it's quite small, it's a meter square. And then we're using these three quarter inch timber planks. Um, so this is how it comes. Basically you're gonna, I've unstrapped it now already, but uh, you're basically getting four planks uh, and then we have our corner posts here. I'm just gonna cut that. Planed timber corner posts here. It's really very simple to put together this one. All the timbers are the same length. So and we're gonna put that down on the ground like that. And we're going to put our corner post in under the timber. So we're just gonna sit it flush, just like that. Don't put the screw too close to the edge here, otherwise the timber can split. So get it in as, as, as far as you can, about an, about an inch. Now we can see on this bed that the post is just slightly shorter than the, the outside of the timber and that's for a cloche or a cover that we can sit in there if we need it. So as I've shown you here, there is a gap on that end so we need to do it the same way around. I'm just going to do the same again with one of the other ones. In nice and flush there to the edge. Now we just do our edges here. So that's our two sides. So we're, it's a square bed, so we're basically going to line up. Okay, so we'll do this corner here. We want to make sure it's nice and lined up there at the top and then also down the side of the bed. All the corners are essentially the same, so we're just going to go around and finish off the bed. Okay, that's it. Very, very quick bed to put together. Uh, it's quite shallow, it's only seven inches high, so really for salad crops and, and a few little bits and pieces, it's predominantly a children's bed, so you could put strawberries in there or little quick things like radishes or whatever. But still, a nice little timber bed, you get a few years out of it, and perfect for children's crops.